Yes, good morning and win today, win tomorrow, and win forever. Yes, I greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ. You are welcome to another day in Christ's presence. Time spent in Christ's presence is not a wasted time, but time with healing, deliverance, restoration, redemption, and all of God's blessing. So yes, thank you very much for joining us today. Please do share the link with your friends, your family, your loved ones. Let them come to be partakers of this morning devotion. Yes, yes. Let them come to be partaker of the blessing that God Almighty has in stock for us today, for you, and for me. So please share the link, share the link, share the link. Share the link, share the link, share the link. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for doing so. For the word for this morning devotion, let us go to the book of Matthew. The book of Matthew, chapter 5. The book of Matthew, chapter 5. We shall read from verse 14 
to 16. Matthew chapter 5, verse 14 to 16. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's go to book of Matthew chapter 5, verse 14 to 16. The scripture says, You are the light of the world, a city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a stand, and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. Mm. A city built on a hill cannot be hidden. The light of Christ in us cannot be hidden. Jesus says what? Let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. Yes, make a difference in your world. This is our message for today. Make a difference in your world. Make a difference in your world. All of us, as created by God, God has put something in us. We all have our own unique gift. We all have our own unique calling that God has put in us to change the world around us. When we are in Christ Jesus, we are filled with his light. And this light is what will draw people, not to us, but we point people the way to Christ Jesus. What is your gift? You need to identify the gift that God has placed in you, which you are to use to make a difference in your world. The gift that God Almighty has planted in you is not only for your own personal gain, is not only for your own personal achievement, but to bring people to the recognition that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Make a difference in your world. The light of Christ Jesus shines in us to show those who are in darkness the way. If we hide our light, that is, if we hide the God-given gifts that God has used as placed in us, if we hide it, hmm, we are most likely to lose our commission here on earth. We are here today because focus was not broken. We are here today because what? Focus was not broken. All of us, we have people who are connected to our destiny. We have to do certain things for those people to either be saved or receive whatever God wanted to give them through us. So, if you hide what God has given you, or if it is dormant, you are equally making others not to be able to get what God wants to give them through you. Make a difference in your world. As you go out there today, you need to know what has God placed me on earth for? What is my gift? How, has, how does God, how do God want me to use my gift towards saving others? Toward what? Saving others. Jesus says, let your light shine. For us to be able to adequately use our gift to attract people to Christ Jesus, we must be in Christ Jesus. Because Christ Jesus is the source of our light. If we are connected to a wrong source, our gifts, our talent, we draw people away from God or oftentimes draw people to ourselves. 
The difference that you have to make in the world is to show that Christ Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Here in verse 16, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to the Father who is in heaven. Your gift, the end of your gift is to glorify the Lord. The end of what God has put in you is to glorify Him. So if your gift is not glorifying God, is not bringing people to God, your gift will lead people away from God. We, make, we can only make a difference in our world when we remain in Christ Jesus. His light shining through us, shining through our gift, will, give, will make people to begin to see the way to Christ Jesus clearer. It will make people to begin to see what? The way to Christ Jesus clearer. Otherwise, how can somebody know the way if somebody does not point the way to them? How can somebody know Christ Jesus if somebody does not speak to them about Christ Jesus? You are that somebody who is to speak to them. You are that somebody who is to what? To show them the way through what God Almighty has placed in us. Christianity is practical. It is not theoretical. It is practical. Others will come to believe through what they see through you. Or they will come to disbelieve from what they see through you. So if your light is questionable, if the light shining in you is not connected to the right source, then it will, it will lead them to that wrong source to which you are connected to. But if your light is coming from the right source, then it will lead people to the right source, which is Christ Jesus. That is the way you can make a difference in your world. Otherwise, you will just be like every other person around in the world there. Your gift that you have will just be like any other person in the world there. Men today, they can sing, they can do so many things, they can play football, but they are not making a difference in their world. Unless Christ Jesus is involved in your project, then you can make a difference in your world. You can stand out as one who not only shows their good works, shows their good talent, but through your talent, through your work, you people begin to give glory to God Almighty. That is making a difference in your world. So thank you. God bless his word in your heart. As we go out there today, learn to make a difference in your world. Learn to stand out from the crowd. Whatever God Almighty has placed in you, combine it with the word of Christ Jesus so that you begin not only to show your good work, but also to begin to display the glory of the Father. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, yes. Let us go into prayers. Let us go into prayers. Let us go into prayers. Mm. Let us open our hearts. Let us open our hearts to begin to listen to the voice of the Holy Ghost. Let us open our hearts that we are going to listen to the voice of the Most High. Free your heart from everything that will put your that is putting your heart in a state of restlessness. Free your heart from anything that is putting your heart in a state of restlessness. Let us begin to give thanks to Jesus. 
Let us begin to give thanks to Jesus. Let us thank him for the grace that he has given us today. Let us thank him for his word. Let us thank him for his faithfulness. Let us thank him for his favor, for his mercy, for giving us another grace to be in his presence today. Many are gone, many are elsewhere, but we are here today in Christ's presence. So let us open our mouth and give thanks to Jesus. Let us open our mouth and give thanks to Jesus. Thank Him for your family. Thank Him for those around you. Pray in the name of Jesus. Give thanks to Jesus. Give thanks to Jesus. Thank Him. Thank Him. Thank Him. It is not by your power nor by your might that you are here today but by the grace of Christ Jesus. Give thanks to Jesus. Give thanks to Jesus. For his mercy never ceases in our life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let us begin to ask Lord Jesus to cleanse us and to purify us from whatever iniquity is standing between us and him. Open your mouth to pray in the name of Jesus. Ask Lord Jesus to cleanse you from whatever iniquity, from whatever unrighteousness standing between you and him right now. Whatever that you might have done, be it in your words, in your thoughts, in your actions, ask Lord Jesus Christ to forgive you anything that you might have done that goes against his word. Ask Lord Jesus to cleanse you and to purify you. Remember, the enemy wants to always use your word against you. He wants to use your thoughts against you. He wants to use your action against you. So he is keeping a record of you. Ask Lord Jesus to begin to blot out all your iniquities so that when he comes to, to present your iniquities, Jesus Christ will tell him all were paid in full. So ask Lord Jesus Christ to forgive you, to cleanse you, to sanctify you. Ask Lord Jesus to cleanse you to purify you from whatever iniquity, from whatever sin that you might have committed, knowingly or unknowingly, be it in your thought, in your action, whatever sin that you might have committed, ask Lord Jesus to have mercy, to purify you and to cleanse you right now, right now, right now, right now. You have not committed your pardonable sin. Christ Jesus, is able to forgive you only if you confess your sin to him. He is willing to do whatever it takes to make you right with himself. That was why he laid down his life so that you could live for him. To ask Lord Jesus to cleanse you and to purify you from whatever iniquity, whatever that you have done, whatever that you are doing currently, that goes against what is written in the scriptures. Ask Lord Jesus to purify you and to strengthen you not to continue to live in the same sin. To strengthen you not to continue to live in the same iniquity. To strengthen you to overcome your weakness. Whatever that you have made normal, whatever that, you, that your society has made normal, 
that goes against the scripture and you are struggling, you are struggling, you are struggling, ask Lord Jesus Christ to help you, to help you to overcome that your weakness. Prayer in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Yes, ask Lord Jesus to send his Holy Spirit into your heart today. To fill you with his Spirit. Ask his Spirit to take more of you and to give you more of him. Ask his Spirit to draw you closer to himself that you will walk according to the way Christ Jesus wants you to walk. Pray in the name of Jesus. Invite the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, take more of me and give me more of you. Fill me with your presence, Lord. Fill me with your presence, O Lord. Come and transform my life. Come and direct my life today. Come and purify my thinking process that my action will be holy. That my words will be holy. That everything coming out of me will be holy. Come Holy Spirit. Come and dwell in my heart. Come and be my conductor. That is, come and conduct my action, my words, and my thoughts. Come Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit. Invite the Holy Spirit to enter into your heart today. To make you to live like Christ Jesus. To act like Christ Jesus. To speak like Christ Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Ask Lord Jesus to make your heart sensitive to the voice of the Holy Spirit today. Ask Lord Jesus to make your heart sensitive to the voice of the Holy Spirit today. Yes, this will be what you should meditate on today. Lord Jesus, make my heart sensitive to the voice of the Holy Spirit. That the Holy Spirit will continuously whisper to you today the mind of God concerning everything that concerns you today. Ask Lord Jesus to make your heart sensitive to the voice of the Holy Spirit. Prayer. Lord Jesus, make my heart sensitive to your voice today that I will hear the Holy Spirit when he speaks to me, when he communicates to me the will of God concerning myself, concerning others, concerning what has to do with me, concerning where I'm going, concerning my decisions, concerning my actions. Continue to pray, continue to pray, continue to pray. Lord Jesus, make my heart sensitive to the voice of the Holy Spirit. Make my heart sensitive to the voice of the Holy Spirit, that I will hear the Spirit of God when He speaks to me, that I will hear the Spirit of the Most High when He talks to me. 
at every particular moment. No matter the noise around me, let my voice be sensitive to the voice of the Holy Ghost. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, right now, commit your day, your activity into God's hand. Asking Lord Jesus to take absolute control of your going out and your coming in. To take control of what is going to come out of you. Yes. Many of us today, our problems are tongue problems. It is what we have said with our mouth that is the result of what we are living today. Ask Lord Jesus to take absolute control of whatever that, that, that you are going to do today. Whatever you are going today, ask him to come and accompany you to be your guide. Ask him to bless your day, to open unto you the doors of mercy, the doors of favor. Prayer in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Right now, begin to make your request to your Heavenly Father. What is the request? What is going through in your heart? Begin to make your request to your Heavenly Father right now. Begin to make your request to your Heavenly Father right now. Where are you going today? What do you want God Almighty to do for you today? Begin to make your request to your Heavenly Father right now. Begin to make your request to your Heavenly Father right now. As I stand here as an instrument to convey God's power to you. So begin to make your request right now. As I stretch my hand, victory is yours. Redemption is yours. Restoration is yours. God's blessing is yours. Begin to make your request right now in the name of Jesus. Begin to make your request to your Heavenly Father. The Bible says, Ask. And it shall be given unto you. Knock, and the door shall be opened unto you. Seek, and you shall find. Whatever you ask today shall be granted unto you in the name of Jesus. Wherever you knock today, shall be open unto you in the name of Jesus. Whatever you seek today, you shall find in the name of Jesus Christ. God will open unto you the doors of breakthrough. His mercy and His favor will speak for you in the name of Jesus. His mercy will speak for you. His favor will locate you in the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you go, God's mercy will accompany you in Jesus' name. God will bless all your endeavors in the name of Jesus Christ. God will bless your endeavors in the name of Jesus Christ. Where you are having challenges in your workplace, Lord Jesus will begin to make you to find favor Favor, 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 favor in the name of Jesus. Where you have been rejected, 
God will begin to give you a mighty favor, a mighty favor, a mighty favor, a mighty favor in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, cover yourself and everything that has to do with you with the blood of Jesus. Cover yourself and everything that has to do with you with the blood of Jesus. Cover yourself and everything that has to do with you with the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, for we have prayed. Yes, viewers, let us make our own declaration from the book of Psalm 23. Let us declare in the name of Jesus. Let us declare in the name of Jesus. The Lord is your shepherd, you shall not want. He is going to make you to ladder in green pastures. He is going to lead you beside the still waters. He is going to restore your soul. He will lead you in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though you walk through the valley of the side of death, you will fear no evil. For God is going to be with you. His rod and his staff will comfort you. He is going to prepare a table before you today in the presence of your enemies. He is going to anoint your head with oil and your cup will overflow. Surely, God's goodness and mercy will follow you. All the days of your life, and you shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever and ever. Amen. 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 Yes. Let us give thanks to Jesus. Let us give thanks to Jesus. Let us give thanks to Jesus. Let us give thanks to the Most High. Thank Him. Thank Him. Thank Him. Thank Him for this wonderful privilege. Thank Him. Thank Him. Thank Him for what He has done for us today. Thank Him for His blessings. Thank Him. Thank Him. Thank Him. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, viewers, you are blessed. Go out there and win today for Christ Jesus has made you winners. Yes, your day is blessed. Your activity is blessed. So, good morning and win today. Win tomorrow and win forever. So, please join us tomorrow as we start a day, another day in God's presence. And join us tomorrow evening for our Friday intercessory prayers so as you come do not come alone come with your friends prayer request come with your prayer request invite your friends and family let them come and connect with the intercessory prayers that they will also receive their own blessing that they will also learn to spend time in god's presence may the lord bless you in jesus mighty name for those of us who are already registered for the zoom prayer session we shall be sending out the link to you today so those of us who are yet to register Please do register so that we can send you the link. So may God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Shalom.